Okay, so Be'ezrus Hashem, we are going to continue with our shirim on the Ramchal's Adir Bamarom on the Ijraba. We're completing uh, the the introduction, the first introduction of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai in talking about the reason that he is awakening to this call to draw down the tikkunim that are not mitukan yet, to draw down the rectifications that need to be drawn down. And we spoke about the the choyva dachik and the orientation of urgency and the sense that it's an esla asosla Hashem hifrus or secha. So the last element that's going to be described is going to be kruza kari v'chol yuma. Right, so it says human zirun. The days are short. We're operating in hanhaga of zeranpin, the hanhaga of arachanpin, of the elongation and patience of illumination is no longer present within the constriction of the small days. And we spoke last week about the urgency and the sense of being compelled to a place that we don't have the capacity to stop ourselves from being pushed there because of how fast things are going and how, in truth, that's really reflective of the higher light of Akadish Baruch Hu, which is in charge of all things and is causing the urgency to the Baldavar, and therefore the Baldavar is causing the urgency to us. But never has that the Baldavar has any actual capacity to cause urgency to us. The only urgency comes from Akadish Baruch Hu. And now the last line of the Zohar Akadosh is Kruza Kari B'chol Yuma. So all of this is associated with the reasoning and the reasons that Rashbi felt it was time to be Magalazan, the Tikkunim of the Ijaraba, which reveal a light that allows us to elevate Mal all the way back up to its place, a technology, so to speak, that was revealed that wasn't revealed beforehand. Rectifications that before they were revealed, we were able to function, but once they're revealed, it's impossible to function without them. As Rabbi Nachman says about the tzaddikim, the yichide hadoros, that before the yichide hadoros, before the tzaddikim amitim were niskala in the world, it would have been possible to serve HaKadosh Baruch without being makusha to those tzaddikim. But once the tzaddikim amitim are niskala in the world, so then it's impossible for a person to serve HaKadosh Baruch without a hashpa'a and a connection to the tzaddikim amitim, whether a person is bedas or below yodim with regards to it. When it comes to kruza kari b'chol yuma, there is a voice that cries out. The Amar Kruza Kari Yuma. There's a voice, there's a call that comes out each and every day, awakening people to return. This is what is written. So the Pasuk and Tilim says that blessed be the Malachim, the celestial forces who operate and express themselves with the strength of doing his will, and then only afterwards they come to hear the coal of his davar. So we already know this is something that's also referred to as the, the Raz. This is the secret of the Malachim Mi Gila Razu Labanai, who revealed this secret because this is the Avoida of Nasa Vanishma. So everything the Ramchal is about to say about the Malachim is also going to be spoken to about us. And who like the Ramchal, who's able to tell us about the nature of the Malachim, but in truth it's reliable and it's applicable to the human being, because the voice of the Malachim speak through the Ramchal. The Ramchal, we know, had a Magid. He had a Magid through the inner hearing of his experience and the openness of his Neshama. So he's capable of telling us exactly what this cruise is. So this cruise comes out, this call comes out, and Chazal say, Chazal described the nature of the Malachim as they do first, and only afterwards they come to listen. This is the secret of B'Shash Ektimu Yisrael Nasev L'Nishma. So what we're learning about now is the nature of the malachim, but it's also going to be applicable to each and every person as the Ramchal expresses at the end of this teaching. The malachim, the celestial kingdoms, these represent the processes, the external forms of reality through which HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Megala, the inner light towards Nishma Sisrael. Malachim are referred to as Chitzon Yisraelim. They are the system, so to speak. Each level of each system has its own particular expressions and its own particular forces that carry out certain commands and fulfill certain necessities. And that's what the Malachim are. The Malachim work as kind of the expression of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Ratzon, that's Mislabish, that engarbs itself within the technology, so to speak, of the Malachim, where each and every Malach is ultimately a Shliach that has a particularly set task to accomplish, and it sets out in accordance with the code of its task to carry out that task for the sake of the Shechina, but ultimately it's all Chitzonius in relationship to the innermost point of the Nekudah Yisraeli, which is the Pnimiyas HaOlamos. The Pnimiyas HaOlamos, the inner interior 
superiority of the Olamos is the light that moves through the technology of the Chitzon Yisa Olamos. And the Chitzon Yisa Olamos contains within it something referred to as Malachim. And the Kochos of the Malachim, the different forces and forms of Malachim all represent different tasks and different missions that need to be accomplished in order to ensure that the externality of things are operating in a seamless enough way for Nishma Yisrael to function with the capacity of Bechir Chavshis. And so the Ramchal is describing the, the nature of what's taking place right now in terms of the nature of the Malachim, but it's also going to be applicable to Pnimiya Sa'ilamus, which is Nishma Yisrael. So when it comes to the Malachim, that they do first and they listen afterwards. How is it possible? How is it possible for the Malachim to do first and listen afterwards? Da. Every task that needs to be accomplished above, it is preceded by a particular call. Almost lahavdil, like the coding necessary for a particular task to be carried out. The tasks are carried out only after the code or the cruise has gone out to, to state the particularity of that task. The ha'inyan, kizeh soid ha'azmana. The secret of the cruise, the secret of the task, the secret of what we're referring to as the coding that precedes the orientation of the task is the secret of the hasmana, the invitation, the call, the responsibility, mezuman, to be ready to carry out a particular task. That's what the cruise comes to do. It prepares the, the system above that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has created to allow his infinite light to flow down in a minimized way that we can still grasp the infinitude of it all. But it comes down in such a way that first and foremost, there's a hasmana, there's an orientation to what the task is, there's a cruise, and then that task is accomplished. Meaning to say, the way that the Malachim function, the way that the worlds of the Malachim function is that we know that the Olam HaAtzilus is the place where HaKadosh Baruch Hu reveals himself, in the secret of Iyu V'gamayu Chad Bahon, that the Kalim and the Oros there in the world of Atsilus are unified in the sense that even the Kli in that place is revealed to be part and parcel of the light. So that even though there's an orientation and a beginningness of separation, nevertheless, we can sweeten all potential separation in its root because we see that separation is in fact a revelation of the original unity that it's coming to conceal. That's the secret, radical, impossible secret of Raza Dameyam Nusa, of the Olam HaAtzilus. And each and every Olam operates, like we said, in accordance to the Partsufim, Arach Atik and Arach Anpin, which we discussed previously with Aricha Sayamim, Abba Ve'ima, which are not discussed so much in the Ijuraba because they're really concealed and they serve as the interface between Arich and Zeir. So Ab and Ima, Chochm and Bina, they don't get spoken so much about this, but we'll see them discussed much more in the Idr Zuta, Mir Tzashem. And then you have Zer Anpin and Malchus. And so Malchus of Atzilus is the lowest point of the world of Atzilus, which is still expressive of the fundamental light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's infinite unity. And in, in fact, Malchus, in spite of the fact that it's the lowest parts of, of the Olam HaAtzilus, is in truth reflective of the highest light of the Malchus of Adam Kadmon, of the Malchus of Orin Sof Kav Yachol, which is the true secret of Evan Masu Abanam Haisel Rishpina. It's the secret of the Malchus Agnuz Beradla. But Malchus of Atzilus, because it has this radical power, it can also descend down away from the world of Atzilus into the worlds of separation. The worlds of separation are the levushim, they are the garments that conceal and cover in order to reveal the world of Atzilus. The first garment is Oilam Habriya, the second garment is Oilam HaYitzira, and the third garment is Oilam HaAsiya. Writ large, these three worlds are referred to as the worlds of Pirid, Bia, Bria, Yitzira, and Asiya. And this is the world of the Malachim. This is where the tasks get carried out. This is the way that HaKadosh Baruch Hu effectuates the system in which the infinite light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu could descend down below through the Malchus of Atzilus that descends down into the darkness of Bria Yitzir and Asiya, but nevertheless has the capacity of conveying the essential message down to the lowest place of manageable, which which is where Nishma Yisrael is found for the sake of elevating things back up. So this is the secret of the Malchus of Atzilus that can descend down in a radical secret type of way into the worlds of Bria Yitzir and Asiya and not to be nullified and not to lose its capacity. So all Hanhaga, all things that are being expressed are ultimately expressions of the Malchus of Atzilus that's yoyred into the worlds of Bria Yitzir and Asiya. And what the Ramchal is saying here is that the Kruz, the Hasmana, the coding comes down from the Malchus of Atzilus. It wants something done. HaKadosh Baruch wants to be poil something Thing in the worlds of Bia, and as a result of the coding that comes down through the Malchus of Atzilus, it gets engarbed within the task orientation of the different Malachim who are there to carry out the task in the systematic way that they operate. 
that when HaKadosh Baruch Hu awakens something to emerge out of Malchus of Olam HaAtzilus to go down into the worlds of Bri Yitzir and Asiya, Lahagia Elam Esharsim, in order for it to arrive at the guards, at the Malachim, at the stations that rest in between Kav Yachol, the light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and the place that we receive it from. And this is after all of the higher roots of existence and all of the loftier places of Zer Anpin and Abba and Ima and, and Atak Yoimin and Arach Anpin, all of the Partsifim of Atzilas, all of the Moiris have already agreed upon, have already enabled the Shefa to begin to come down and everything has been prepared and now Malchus is about to send out this call of what needs to be accomplished. V'nasu kol so that everything stands at the ready at the realm of Malchus Da'atzilus it has received from all the way above in the secret of the Or Ein Sof and the Havaya Samenu Kadus and the Chachma of Adam Kadmon which is Mislabish on the Or Ein Sof and is Yore down the Mata through the Oris of Achab through the Shvira and the Tohu to the degree and, and then the Tikkun to the degree that something is ready to come out. V'nasu kol ha'achanos ha'atzrichos l'chol shevel l'tzeis l'pu'ula v'ham oiris kulam pe'echad all of the Moiris, everything that we just discussed from Or In Sof, from the Malchus of Or In Sof, down Lamata, 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 down to the Malchus Da Atzilus, Kulam Pe Echad. It's all considered one mouth. It's all considered one expression. That Malchus, which is Pe, Malchus, which is the lowest element of Olam Atzilus, is in fact reflective of all of the loftiest levels above that are coming down to express itself so that this Tamsit Sanakuda, this quintessential drop of information, that descends all the way down from the infinite light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Kav Yachol, down to the Malchus of Atzilus, everybody agrees, and it's at this point that the Shechina, which is the Peshelahem, the Malchus of Atzilus, has now gotten ready to convey a certain code necessary in order for reality to draw something down. Mitzavim Esa Avadim HaMalachim, Malchus, the Shechina HaKadosh, which is Meskala, the Orient Soif Mamish, is, is now commanding and setting out the different Malachim and the Avadim on the task that needs to be accomplished in order to be Poyal. Prior to this act taking place, there is a coding that ascends. There is an announcement as to what the task needs to be done. What is that next step for the, the functional universe to continue to be the clea that it needs to be in order to draw down the innermost light down to the innermost point of the Jewish heart wherever it finds itself. Now all of the malachim, in accordance with their particular task orientation, all of those who fit within that space, the fractalized forms of the malachim that fit within that space of carrying out this particular coded task. So they pick up on the code, they pick up on that light that's descending down from Malchus Tatsilus, which is receiving it all the way from the and now all of these malachim that are oriented towards receiving this task and accomplishing it and carrying out this task, so they receive from that voice and they enable that light of Malchus Ta'atzilus to be mispashet down into the worlds of Bria, Yitzir, and Asiyah, so that then the Malchus of Bria and the Malchus of Yitzir and the Malchus of Atziah, all of those functions and tasks can be accomplished and carried through. Nimtza shebekol yekablu hakoyach. That is specifically the kol, it's the cruz, it's that voice that comes out that's going to be makabal the koyach. That's the, the, the coding necessary for the task or the potential to be able to accomplish that task. Ubeshefa atzma hamagia aleyam lepeula yekablu hapeula. And it's specifically through this kol or this code or this cruz that is coming down from the malchus that Atzilus that has received from all of the Ma'oris above it, Ad Ein Sof Kav Yachol, that being drawing down, there's no period between Malchus of Atzilus and the Malchus of Orin Sof, Malchus Cha Malchus Kol Elamim, Mem Sha'at Lecha B'chod Dor V'dor, Ubeshefa Atzma Yamagia Le'am Lepula, and then it's capable of carrying out this task. V'afarish Lecha Zeyo Tebeprat. And now, says Rabbi Noram Chal, I'm going to explain this to you in a little bit more particularity, because this is clearly an important way of understanding the, the basic functioning of the system of Chitzon Yisraelim, the ontology of the worlds, the way that the worlds function so that human consciousness and, and the neshama can be masig the light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu within it. And I'm going to explain this to you with more explanation. When it comes to the secret of a hashpa alamata, it has to take place by two things, a kol and a dibor. There has to be a voice and there has to be the enunciation of language.
So now when Rabbi Noam Chal says he's going to explain the matter to us with more particularity, he's explaining to us that interface, that point in which Malchus of Atzilus receives the command from on high through all of the Ma'iris Kavyachol, and is now ready to transfer that piece of information, that cruise, that code that needs to be carried out so that we can receive it down here, so there is a transition that takes place. It's almost like something breaks the brain blood barrier. Now the brain, the light of above is now descending down below. Malchus of Atzilus is descending down into the worlds of separation. And so how exactly is this happening in order so that these tasks should be carried out? The Farish L'chazeh and now, in order to understand this a little bit better, we're going to explain how Malchus of Atzilus descends down to convey that message so that it can be accomplished through the Malachim in the Ulamus of Biyah, in the systems of functioning that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has planted in the Teva, in the Shem Eloikim Kav Yachol, in the basic way of Olam Kim and Hago Noheg. Hine kol hagazeros tzrichim l'tzeis besod kol v'dibor. Like anything, it's not just Dibor, there is a preceding kol prior to that Dibor. Prior to the Dibor that Malchus the Atzilus Kav Yachol is going to enunciate in order to convey a particularized command down to the system Systems of order that are in place in the worlds of Briyat, Sir, and Asiya, and all of those technologies there. So there needs to actually be a, a precipitary stage, which is the stage of Yesod in the world of Atsilus, which represents the, the parts of, of Zer Anpin, which is going to be referred to as the coal. Zer Anpin and Malchus, Kutche Briyichu Vishrinte, Yichur Ilo, Yichur Tata, especially in the Magad HaKadosh, especially in the Tamidei HaMagad, the Tamidei HaBashem Tov, what you find is Kol and Dibor takes on a fundamental place in terms of connection with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because speech, utterance, the way of prayer through the articulation of letters and the separation of different vowelization sounds within the mouth and the utilization of the auditory sense of hearing what we speak and connecting ourselves mindfully to the act of enunciation and the, and the secret of Dibor. So in that in that base medrash, what we find is Kol V'dibor representing Kol is going to be the undefined, generalized whole prior to articulation in specific language. It represents the expansivity and the potential towards speech, which at that point is endless. It can say anything, and only once something is said, it no longer can say anything. And then Dibor, which is the Chita Chaoisius, which is going to be the Tzimtzum, that's Malchus. So the Yichud of Zeranpin and Malchus is Kol and Dibor. So yes, Malchus, the Atzilus, is the Dibor, which is going to carry the code down to the Malachim of Bria Yitzir and Asiya, but the way that it receives that code from all of the Maoros is the secret of the Kol, is the secret of the voice that's drawing it down, and the secret is Yesoid and Malchus. The coal is Yesoid and Malchus is the Dibor. The secret of the Cruz, the secret of this announcement that comes about by way of all of the Maoros is being drawn down through the Koyach of the Yesod. That's going to represent that point of contact between everything that ascends away from Malchus to Atzilus and drawing it down into Malchus to Atzilus. And the activation and the expression of Malchus the Atzilus conveying the coding which is in and of itself the accomplishment of that process because the world of Malchus of Atzilus going down into Bri Yitzir and Asiya is not a two-step process but rather the descent itself is accomplishing all of the work that needs to be done and the Pu'ula is the secret of Malchus Va Emes and the truth of the matter is Ki Hashchina Mislabeshes Bechol HaMalachim how can we say that the Pu'ula is the secret of Malchus if we just said that the Cruz is the secret of Malchus, Malchus the Atzilus is the one conveying the coding? No, Elama, the Yesoid of Atzilus, the Zaranpin, is conveying the coding and the secret of the Cruz and the Kol, and Malchus the Atzilus is receiving that, but then when Malchus the Atzilus descends down into the worlds of separation, it's not conveying the message to the Malachim necessarily, but rather it is expressing itself and allowing herself to become engarbed by the Malachim so that the very message encoded within the very fabric or texture, so to speak, of Malchus Ta'atzilus is being conveyed through Malchus Ta'atzilus, Malchus Ta Malchus Ta Malchus Ta Nothing is ever happening without the light of infinitude that is expressed through Shrinta Kadisha and the secret of Malchus. So it's never the Malachim that are doing anything. The, the biggest question, not the question, the biggest secret over here is the Sugya of Matat and all of those Malachim which we're going to come to understand, Bezra Hashem. But over here, the Ramchal is saying something obviously and, and so 
significant and profound and, and clarifying that the Malchus of Atzilus is not being mashpia down to the Malachim in the world of Bri Yitzira and Asiya. Ella, the Malchus itself is mislabeshes b'chol ha-Malachim, which is why we can say that the Kol is the Chruz, and Malchus the Atzilus is in fact the, the, the Dibur of the Chruz, which is also the very act of carrying out the Chruz, because the Shechina mislabeshes b'chol ha-Malachim, because the Shechina herself, Malchus the Atzilus Kav Yachol, is mislabesh in the Malachim of the worlds of Bri Yitzira and Asiya. It's not separate in the secret of Aleph, Dalid, Nud, Yud, Bum, that the light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the shame of Adnus, which is the place of Malchus, is mislabesh, it engarbs itself within the very essence of what the Malachim are, and the Malachim are only the Levushim, the technological expressions of the inner point of infinitude. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu has planted a, a firm law within the externality of reality, within the shape of reality, that there should be no expression of a pu'ula of the ma'oros, meaning all of the light that's coming from all the way, all the way, all the way above, from or in saif mamish kaviyachol, that's being maslabish, and all of the dargim down to the zun of atzilus, and the kol is going to be the chruz, and the malchus of atzilus is going to be the pu'ula, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has planted a, a, a law in reality, which means it's something that is beyond our comprehension whatsoever, in order to, to carry out tasks, it has to be done through the Malachim, through the worlds of Bria Yisir and Asiya, through the worlds of concealment. That's the way that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has set up the process. But the Shechina, the Malchus, the Vatzilus, is mislabish down within these Levushim of the Malachim, which seem separate. And in truth, it's just a continued expression of the coding that is inherent within the very fabric of Malchus, the Atzilus itself. And it's Malchus, the Atzilus, that's being yurried down. It's not some messenger, God forbid, but it's Malchus Ta'atzilus that's mislabish, that's engarbed within the Malachim that's expressing the Gezeira downwards. Ah, and even though the Malachim and the technological shapes in which HaKadosh Baruch Hu allows the reverberations of that cruise from within the Zun Ta'atzilus to express itself within the worlds of Bri Yitzir and Asiya, even though it's the malachim and the externalized systems and the oilam kim and hoganoyeg and the teva that's mutva b'metzius, that's what's going to carry out the the actual ma'isa im kol zeh. Nevertheless, he kisei noisa es noisav. In truth, the chair carries the ones who are carrying it. And malchus da'atzilus, in spite of the fact that it does not express herself fundamentally in the pula itself, nevertheless, it's what gives koyach to the koychois in biyot to be mashbiya lamata. It is in and of itself the shechina hakadosh v'hamalachim ein lahem ela lekasher listavik b'shechina hamislabeshes behem. And the only way that technology functions, the only way that the technology of the malachim function in the world's abriyah Sira and Asiya is when they attach themselves and connect themselves to the light of the Shekhinah HaKadosh, which is Malchus the Atzilis, that's Yorid Lamata, down into the worlds of Biyah, that's carrying all of the light of the Ma'oros, and Az Hu Payal Asal Yedehem. That's what's happening with the Malachim. So anytime we speak about the Malachim, anytime we conceive of any nature of the Malachim, we're not talking about Malachim of any Koyach on their own. They are a way in which HaKadosh Baruch Hu carries out the infinite light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that is going through the various symptoms and through the technologies through which HaKadosh Baruch Hu decided to create the world that we find ourselves in, in the secret of Baruch Sha'amr, Vahaya Ha'olam, this is how we have to orient ourselves to it. But it's never anything other than Shkinta Kadisha, and it's the Kodesh HaKadoshim, and there's always the Pintula point of the Amuna Yeshira Ad Ein Soif Mamish, that rests within any apparent constriction, concealment, or secondary mechanisms that HaKadosh Baruch has planted into the world. Ubitse Sachruz, says the Ramchal, and when this call com comes out, when this voice comes out, this coding comes out, Umamshich Koyach HaKol, and it draws down the light of the Yisoid from Zer Anpin of Olam HaTzilus, as Miad HaMalochem Mizdamnin Lekroyas Besoyed HaShchina HaMislabesh Esbam. Immediately when the Chruz comes out from Zun, the Atzilus, and there's a Zivug there, the Malachim are ready to receive the information and to carry out that, that Hamshacha, that Hamshacha, to just carry it out immediately because, in fact, it's all one fell swoop. And that's the secret of the Shechina, the Mislabeshes Bahem. U'bechina zu kamoi bechina zivug. And the Ramchal is saying this element of the Hamshacha, of the information, the Chruz, down to the Malachim in Biyah, is mamish like the Zivug of Zunda Atzilas when the Yisoyed and Malchus are Mizdavig together. So there's an element of the Hamshacha, of the coal into the Dibor, and the Dibor expressing itself outwards. U'magia lahem acher kach ha-shefa ha-tzarech. And then they are prepared to receive the necessary coding and the necessary 
shlichus in order to carry out what needs to be carried out. And even though they're the ones carrying out the mice, it's the shchina that's giving koyach to the pu'ula in the secret of malchuscha malchus kol elamim. Benimsa, and it turns out then hamaisa harishon shem srichim la asoyis behem shechachruz. The first thing that the existence needs to orient itself to, that the externality of the world that the malachim need to orient them to first and foremost when the chruz comes down from the mala, and the chruz is always coming down from the mala, the shefa is always coming down from the mala. The first thing that they have to do is lizdavik b'shchina hamislabeshes b'hem. The first and foremost, uncover the secret of the shchina that's that's mislabeshes b'hem. It's not me going to connect to the shchina. It's not the malach going to connect to the shchina. It's the gilui milsa lemafreya that shchinta kadisha is mislabish within me at every moment. Kizoy si haasiya shalahem. This is what the asiya is. And just like we said, this secret, the Ramchal has to be mislabish this in what the nature of the malachim is. But it's not by chance that Rabbeinu Haramchal is specifically using the secret of the malachim that we received by Harsinai because the same applies to us, that when it comes for us to become a receptacle, to draw down the light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu from Malchus Ha, Malchus Kalalamim, and the Malchus Ta'in Sof, down through all of the Zivugim and the Yehudim, down to Zunda Atzilas, down into the worlds of separation and Briyat Sira Nasiya, where we're trying to be a Shliach to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the only thing that we have to really do, or the first thing that we have to do, is uncover the secret of the Shechina that's Mislabeshes within us, and that gives us the Koyach of Nasev and Nishma. Nasev and Nishma, I realize the only thing I have to do is connect, and then I can hear more of the Chruz, Be'ezra Sashem. And that's where the Asiya takes place. Shari Kvar Amarti, because I've already said, says Rabbi Naharam Chal, Hashchina Hi Apoyelas Bam. The only thing that's having any impact here is the actual Shchina Kadisha Kav Yochal. Vahim Enam Oisim Ela His Davkus B'Sharashim. And all the Malachim actually have to do is connect themselves to their root. And the same is true for Nishma Sisral that we receive this Koyach to reveal that we're like the Malachim and even better because we're not only Chitzaini Asaylamos but we're Pnimi Asaylamos that we can take this Koyach and use it as well to uncover the innermost point of Shchina within us. Latet Lo Kisei Lashavas Allah Vulipoil Vahavein Hetiv. All that I need to do is become a chair for the Shechina to rest itself upon me. All the Malachim have to do is to become a chair to let the Shechina rest itself upon them. That's the only avoided to be Megalazain, the Iker Nekuda Shairashi of the fact that all we are is a Kisei Lamelech. Vizehu Oisei Devaro Lishmoya Bakol Devaro. And this is the secret of the Malachim who do and carry out his word in order to receive more of his word. Kinoisnim Kisei Lamelech Because all they have to do is become a chair for the Malchus within them. Kedei Lishmoya Bakol Shehua the Chruz is the light that's coming down from Orient Saif Mamish. That's coming down through all of the Tzimtzumim, down, down, down to Zunda Atzilus. That's going to be the Chruz that Nimshach from the Yisoid of Atzilus, from Zer Anpin of Atzilus. That's Nimshach into the Malchus of Atzilus. And then Malchus, the Atzilus, is Yoyri down into the world of Yitzir and Asiya, the separation of thought emotion, action. Those are the malachim, the malachim of machshava, the malachim of hargasha, the malachim of mutva. And it's our job to simply become a chair for the light of the shechina hakadosha that has been yori down the mata. The moment a person thinks that they're putting poil something on their own, that the malach is being poil something on its own, is the moment a person has separated the light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu from themselves. But when they come to realize that all I need to do is reveal the inherent connection with the nekud of shechina that rests within all separation and to become a kisei, so then I can can encounter the secret of Nasev and Ishma. Why? Because the Asiya is very simple. All I need to do in the Asiya, always, the only thing that I ever have to do in Asiya is to connect myself to become a chair for the light of the Shechina that rests within me. And then, and then I become a receptacle to receive that light that is always unfolding from above, from the Moiris themselves and the secret of the Bechina HaKoyil HaNimshach, that voice that is being drawn through all of existence. And they, but until now, the Ramchal has been speaking be, sod of talking about the Malachim. But now we're beginning to understand that this secret is also Nasev Nishma. This happens every single day. Every single day, the Chruz, Hanois in the Sech Vivina, Lahadchen, Ben Yom, Ben Laila, Gavriel, Malach Gavriel, that's Nata Kana Biyam, and he creates the Shefa of the day, creates the Tzimtzum of the day to draw down the Moichen and the Or of that day with each and every day providing something new and a new set of circumstances and a new set of concealment. And that's the Kavana of Hanois, uh, that uh, Hanois in Sech Vivina. Bina ben Laila to create separations in our lives. This cruise is coming down 
every morning. It's beginning, it's awakening the day. And then all of the voice comes down through all of this process in Malchus, the Atzilus, is Yori down the Mata, so that it can come to us, Mamish and Atzilus, and the the Pnimia Sa'ilamos, Lasais Masayim, so that we encounter our own process. It's no longer talking about the Malachim. Misham, Makablis, and the Shamos, Koyach, the Hachon, and Lasais, and Saroy Lahem. And from there, we draw down the strength. We draw down the strength and the preparation needed for us to prepare ourselves for what is needed today. And this is the secret of the Tarnagal that cries out in the morning. And Chazal have already said, We know the voice that cries out. And this is a secret of the Rashash and his beer and the Shalom on the Pasuk of the Tarnagal Koira, and it's brought down in Rav Yitzhak Isaac Haver, and it's brought down in the Kamarna, the secret of this voice of awakening that reverberates within the fabric of reality each day, drawing down the possibility and the concealment of each day for us to work through the beginning, middle, and the end of the day, and to live the Akva Abiyah and the Shis al Shan and the Havi Alma that are inherent within each and every day that a person encounters in this world. We already spoke about what those voices are. And those are the calls that reverberate from the voice that descends all the way down the Mata. That's the Chruz, that's Oyle Mehar Chayriv, that's the Hurure Tshuva, that the Gra, that the Baal Shem Tov pointed out. It's the voice that we're perpetually trying to hear within ourselves that's that's telling us shuvu shuvu and return return and anoichi anoichi umoichi pashecha let's say sachana l'neshamas to allow the neshamas to prepare themselves for the day kenis kalael vu amalach gavriel amachrus and that's the secret of amalach gavriel the hargasha of gavura in the mind v'oid mebichinasoi kamachrusim mispashtim tzarech kol inyanei ha'avoida and that's only one element of the chruz and there's many, many chruzim that come out from the Malach Gavriel that are going to prepare each and every person for the particular avoida of that day. But Ezra Sashem, next week during Sukkot, we're going to come to the secret of Machatz de Chakla, the Machatz de Chakla, the secret of the gardeners of the field, the secret that all of us, anybody who learns Pnimi Satora, is a gardener of the field, trying to cut away at the thicket and clear clearing and the concealment of the mind to open up a place for the irrigation of the Nachal, Nevea Makor Chachma, of the Nahar Yoytzim Yedin to come down and to be drawn down and to elevate us to a place of Sasan and Simcha via Sigud Yagan Va'anacha Be'ezrus Hashem.